<laughs> so yes, I am a native New Yorker, as we can't tell by my voice. Born in Washington Heights, brought up in the Bronx. I did some time in Astoria. Been living in Brooklyn for a very long time. And a couple of years ago, I had to move. And that became a show called There Goes the Neighborhood, of which I'm going to do a little piece for you right now. Sound good? Yeah! yeah. All right. It's April 15, 2013, and I've just found out that the house where I've been living for the past 20 years has been sold, and the new landlords have given me just six weeks to get out. And when I said, no, you have to give me 90 days, they said, it's a single family house. You're lucky we don't get you out by next week. And so I do what I usually do when, I, when I've been given bad news, good news, or any kind of news. I go to the wine store. <laughs> Only the wine store I like, the one where everyone who works there is still in a band no matter how old they are, that one is in Park Slope on 7th Avenue and 15th Street. But I live in Windsor Terrace on 9th Avenue and 17th Street, which is 10 blocks apart. So I start walking, and by the time I get to 7th Avenue, I find my way is blocked by two two-child strollers. I mean two double-wide strollers each pushed by a clueless woman who, has, who is totally oblivious that she's obstructing the progress of somebody in dire need of alcohol. So I go to the left and I go to the right and finally I succeed in passing them just in time to hear Oh, Lindsay, dear, you're just going to love Park Slope. It's so friendly and laid back here. You can hardly tell you're in New York City anymore. <laughs> well, except for, you know, those people. You know, the ones Mark calls the leftovers still hanging around. I wanted to turn right around and say, Excuse me? Mina, excuse me? Mommy, I got your leftover right here. But I didn't. I mean, not because I wanted to spare the children, but because I really needed that wine store now. <laughs> and, and as I was paying for my liter of small batch bullet rye, don't judge. That's what it was going to take to dull this pain, okay? I mean, I've lived in Park Slope my entire adult life, and now I was a leftover? I never wanted to live in Brooklyn. I grew up in the Bronx in the 1970s and early 80s, yes. That Bronx. Yeah. And believe it or not, Brooklyn was considered worse. Nobody wanted to live in Brooklyn. That's right. But there I moved as winter turned to spring in 1988 because, well, A, um, it, it was kind of past time for me to leave home, and B, it was the only place that wasn't the Bronx I could afford. Did I say that nobody wanted to live in Brooklyn? My own parents wouldn't come visit me for a full year, and they both grew up in Spanish Harlem. <laughs> and the friends that I had gone to art school with, they didn't understand why I didn't want to live with them in some squad on Avenue C. And I was like, wait, no heat, no lights, uh, junkies and bums and drunks, no thanks. I've been there. But I mean, not that 15th Street in Brooklyn was all that. My first apartment was on top of a dry cleaner and next to a tortilla factory. Don't live on top of a dry cleaner, people. No organics in, like, in the 80s. But Prospect Park was just a block away. And when I was in it, I could hardly tell I was in New York City anymore. Well, except for the homeless men bathing in the waterfall and the junkies having ass sex in the woods. How did I know they were junkies? One of them was always falling asleep. But, you know, that was just in another century. I mean, now I'm walking around and I don't recognize my neighborhood anymore. I mean, the candy store with the one I had was gone. The, the other store, the bodega, with the other, other one I cat, gone. The card store, the junk food store, everything was gone, gone, gone. And in their place were stores I couldn't afford to shop in and restaurants I couldn't afford to, to eat in. And well, what was this thing that people were saying that was called market rent? I mean, when did that happen? How did that happen? Where was I gonna live now? And so, the search began. Landlord number one. Michelle, right? Look no further. Your new apartment is right here. Yeah, yeah, hold on a second. Hey, you don't mind if I uh, show the apartment while uh, you're... Whoa, I've never seen anybody pack that fast. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We got a bathroom, we got a bedroom, we got... Hey, hey, X-Men, I told you not to mention that when I'm showing. Hey, 
She's a big girl. She can make up her own. What? You saw enough? Hey, 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 hey. That guy, he spoke out of turn. So what if the nut job next door stabbed his mother in the hall? This is New York. These things happen. <laughs> Landlord number 11. Oh, Miss Carlo, I know you've seen a dozen apartments already, but this one is the winner. A prime space with park views. Just look out that window. Oh, there's just the one. The other one is an air shaft. Oh, bedroom? Oh, this alcove off the living area can easily fit a twin bed. <laughs> um, a bathtub. Well, this newly renovated artisanal shower stall will make you feel like you're in a waterfall spa. <laughs> a refrigerator. Well, you only have room for a mini. But seriously, why cook when you could just look at that view? And then in desperation, I went to a broker. So, uh, Miss Carlo, right? All right, so it looks like you passed the bank check, the credit check, the reference check, the employment check. Now all we need is a drug check. My kid. But now what we need is your first month's rent, last month's rent, and cats. You have two cats? Well, Ms. Carlo, this is a smoke-free, bug-free, gluten-free, peanut-free, pet-free building, so they'll have to go. Seriously? Do you know how many people are on the wait list here? And I left there thinking, what was I going to do? I mean, I had to live somewhere, didn't I? Where was I going to live now? <coughs> Thanks, guys. If you want to hear more, you got to come to the show. Come on, come on. I'll, be, I'll be doing a run in the fall. If you want to find out more information, you can go to my website, www. In case anybody here is Latino, www. That's www.michellecarlo.com. Michelle with one L, carlo.com. Um, like me on Facebook. I have an author performer page. Follow me on Twitter, Michelle Michelle, because you can. All right, thank you guys. Thank you, Philip. There goes the neighborhood.